Right there, he closed the Bible. Right there, he closed the Bible. Because he don't understand nothing what was going on. No, let's... Let's get the proper context. Let's get the proper context of that scripture. Read now. Yeah. The book of Acts chapter 13, verse 22. Uh -huh. And when he had removed him, he raised unto them David to be their king. Uh -huh. To whom also he gave testimony Read. and said... I have found David, the son of Jesse, uh -huh. a man after my own heart. Read on. Which shall fulfill all my will. Read. Of this man's seed. Of this man's seed. Has God raised, a God, according to his promise, uh -huh. raised unto Israel. Raised unto who? Israel. For who are the Gentiles? Raised unto who? Israel. Uh -huh. A savior. A savior for what? Jesus. A savior for Jesus. Read. When John had first preached before the coming, uh -huh. the baptism of repentance, to all the people of Israel. Repentance was for who? All the people of Israel. Repentance was for all the people of Israel. Now give me Acts chapter 5 and verse 31. The book Acts of chapter Acts 5 and verse 31. The book of Acts chapter 5 verse 30. Uh, the God of our fathers. The God of our fathers did what? Raise up Jesus, uh -huh. whom he slew and hung on a tree. Uh -huh. Him had God exalted. With his right hand. So God exalted Christ with his right hand to be what? To be a prince. I hope you're in the same verse you're reading there. Eh? Acts 5 31. You reading Acts 5 31? I eat the Bible. Uh, I keep you reading Acts 5. You eat the Bible. You eat the Bible. Read. Him had God exalted with his right hand uh -huh. to be a prince uh -huh. and a savior to give repentance to who? God to give repentance to Israel. Who's repentance for? Israel. Repentance is for the Gentiles. Israel. And what? And forgiveness of sins. So repentance is for Israel. Repentance tribes. is for the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. That's what repentance for. That's what repentance is for. You ain't getting no more scripture here. You ain't getting no more scripture here. Give me John. Give me, give me, give me Titus chapter 3. Give me Titus chapter 3. You afraid of You Give me Titus chapter 3. I ain't afraid nothing in this Bible. Give me Titus chapter 3. Give me Titus chapter 3. Give me Titus chapter What the Bible talk about these heretics and them? 11, 12. The book of Titus chapter 3 verse 10. A man that is an heretic. A man that is a heretic. After the first and second admonition. After the first and second admonition, what to do? Reject. Reject. That's what the Bible says. Right. After we tell you the first time Reject. and the second time, if you don't want to keep God's word, but, what does the Bible say? A man that is a heretic. Uh -huh. After the first and second admonition. You know it's a heretic. You don't want to. You don't want to listen to what God says. You know he say he wants to tell us read in context. What you want to start at forty one. When we read high up, we tell you the proper context. When he tell you the proper context of who he was speaking to, John, he don't want to hear that. John, he don't want to hear that. Eh? 11 and 20. He don't want to hear that. Yes, what I, he want I, to hear, he want to hear that. He want to hear that particular what, what voice. Are you sure you eh? Give me John, John 1, 11 and 12. He came unto his own, right? right. right. Give me John 1, 11 and 12. Right. So he came unto his own. Give his own receiving that. Right. That's you he was speaking Give about. John, 1, That's who he was speaking about. Give me John. Because let me ask you this. So if he come unto his own and his own didn't receive him, the Israelites. Right. Right. That they didn't receive. Really it. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Did the disciples receive Christ? That's right. So did his own receive him? So did his own receive him? You pray the one? I ask you a question. Are you afraid of the one? Is the, his the disciples did they receive him? He was not talking about the twenty-seven. They what? About the damn it, damn it. So let, let's get John, let's get it for it. John one eleven and twelve. Yeah, we will give him. Oh. Yeah, we will give him that. Read. The book of John chapter 1 verse 11. Uh -huh. He came unto his own, uh -huh. and his own received him not. Uh -huh. But, but, as many as received him. So who is the many that received him? Whosoever. That, that, that didn't say that. <laughs> no, that did not say that. <laughs> hey, he just add this word to the Bible. He just add. That's what the Bible talks about. You are in the words. Read it for him. Read it for him. 
That never said that. Yeah. You just said that. You made that up. No, it's read it. Man. Read what you have. Did it say? Did it say whosoever there? It's no, it didn't. The book read it. Of John chapter eight and verse thirty-one. Uh -huh. Then said Jesus read. to those Jews which believed on him. But he said he said he's only receive him. Then said Jesus uh -huh. to those Jews which believed on him. So if they be saying no, the Jews believe on him, then it has to be a certain set of Jews that didn't believe him. Which was what? The scribes, the Pharisees, the publicans. Luke. They are the ones who didn't believe him. Give him that. Luke chapter 9 and verse 22. Uh -huh. Say, the son of man must suffer many things uh -huh. and be rejected, rejected by who? of the elders, the elders of who? and the chief priests uh -huh. and the scribes and the what? and the scribes uh -huh. And be slain and raised the third day. So who rejected Christ? The scribes, the elders, that the Pharisees. They are the ones who oh. rejected Christ. But the Jews who followed Christ, they kept his commandments. Like the twelve tribes of Israel. Like the men that you see right here. We are going to keep God's commandments. We are not going to be like you. We will never keep God's commandments. Who was his own? Read again. Who was his own? Read it again. Who was his own? Chapter 1, verse 11. Ah. He came unto his own. And his own received him not. Who was but, what? but as many as received him. So who was the many that received no. him? Who was the his followers own? of Christ. Who was the that followers one? of his Christ. We just own? said that. Who was his own? Are you listening? That was his own. So who was his own? Who was his own? Christ said, Come unto the last sheep of Israel. And this is the people that should have rejected him. So what's your point? You just prove what we just said. We come to preach the gospel to all. All who? Whosoever will. Whosoever. Give me that in Acts 2. <laughs> Acts 2. Let's see who is the whosoever. Uh, Let's see who is the whosoever in Acts 2. The, the same book. Acts you say we're running from. Look here running. The book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 21. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. Acts 2, 21. Read it. It shall come to pass. That whosoever, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord uh -huh. shall be saved. Uh -huh. Stop. I'm your close the Bible. End. 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 Amen. Read the next verse. Verse 22. Uh, ye men of Israel. Ye men of who? Ye men of Israel. Uh, hear these words. So who is the whosoever? The Israelites. That's the whosoever. Don't come here with it. Don't come here because you don't know the Bible. You only stick with the New Testament. You don't know nothing about the Old Testament. You don't know the history of the children of Israel. No, you don't know the history of the children of Israel. What did Paul say he was an apostle to? You don't know nothing about the children of Israel. What do you come and say? Paul is the apostle to. Who the Paul say he's the apostle to? To whom? Let's see. Let's see who the Gentiles. To whom? Let's see who the Gentiles. Yeah, let's get Romans 9. The book of Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Christ. Uh-huh. I lie not. So Paul is speaking here now in Romans 9. Read what he said. I say the truth in Christ. Uh -huh. I lie not. Read. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost. Read. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For who? For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ. For who? For my brethren. For my what? My brethren. Uh -huh. My kinsmen. My kinsmen or my family. Why is that? Like according, according to the flesh. According to the flesh. Yes. According to the flesh. Who are what? Who are Israelites? So his kinsmen and his brethren. Yeah, but according to the flesh. Yeah, who? Who are Israelites? Who are what? Israelites. Uh -huh. To who pertain it? The adoption. So who the adoption is for? The Israelites. Read. And the glory. The glory is for who? The Israelites. And the covenant. And the covenants is for who? The Israelites. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law is for what? You are out of context because I don't know the Bible. Read. And the service of God. Uh -huh. And the promises. And the promises. Who are the fathers? Uh -huh. And of who as concerning the flesh. So who concerning the flesh? Christ came. So Christ came for the Israelites. Yeah. That's what the Israelites Christ came for. Give me Romans chapter 3. Romans 3? Give, give, me, give me Romans chapter 3 and verse 1. Romans 2 1. Yeah. And the book of Romans chapter 3 verse 1. Mm -hmm. Romans 3 verse 1. What advantage then had the Jew? Uh -huh. Or what profit is there in circumcision? Read. Much every way. Uh -huh. Chiefly. Chiefly why? Because unto them, unto the Israelites, were committed the oracles of God. The Israelites were committed the oracles of God. But this gentleman say, he asking, why did Paul have to say that in Romans 9? Give me Romans 9, 13. Let me see why Paul had to say that in Romans 9. Does God love everybody? 
want you to answer the question. Does God love everybody? You answer the question. Romans 9. The book of Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Uh -huh. As it is written, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, uh -huh. but Esau have I hated. But if God loved everybody, why God hate Esau? Who is Esau? If God loves everybody, why God hate Esau? Give me Malachi. Because Paul says, as it is written. Let's see it where it was written. Let's see where Paul was pulling that from. The book of Malachi chapter 1 verse 1. Uh -huh. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. Uh -huh. I have loved you. The burden of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. And what God says? I have loved you. I have loved you. The Israelites. Say, really? say the Lord. Uh -huh. Yet he said, when I have loved us. Uh -huh. was That's why Paul has to come and remind the children of that in Romans 9. Because in Rome, in the, in the time of Rome, the Romans were taking advantage of the Jews. So Paul had to remind them, God loves you. That's why you have to repeat. He has to remind them what he said in Malachi. Was, was not Esau's... Was not Esau's... Was not Esau's... Was not Esau's... Said the Lord, huh? yet I love Jacob. Yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau. And I what? Hated Esau. So God says he hates. God says he hates who? And I hated Esau uh -huh. and laid his mountain and he said it is waste for the Jordan of the wilderness. Really? Whereas Edom said. And Edom says what? We are impoverished. Uh -huh. But we will return and build a desolate place. Let me, let me show you. Let me prove to you that he's not listening to what he's saying. What book are you reading from? I to to you see? That's the point. Because, because they will come here. They will come here and stop. Every scripture you tell us read, we read. No, no, no. And we're giving you a scripture. We're saying. What he's saying, read what he's saying, nine. he wouldn't answer. Read one word nine. He wouldn't say it. Read. read. One word nine. I have to one beg you to read, 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 read John. Read. And it's in every scripture I give you a read. Why, 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 you, why you want it, John? Why you want it, John? What you want it, John? What you want it, John? You say you want to read. Tell us what you want in John. What scripture do you want in John? Well, you say you want one more. No. What scripture? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back to Malachi, please. Talk to me. Go back to Malachi, please. Go Yes, verse one. Go back to Malachi chapter one verse four. Because if if the if we say that God loves everybody, why in Malachi? I don't need to say one point. I am studying the word of God. Why in Malachi does why in Malachi does God say he hates Esau? If God loves everybody, then God contradicting himself. Because this is Malachi chapter one verse one. You can't get no more context over that. Read again. Step of the sign, please. The man on the sign. Step of the sign, the please. Of Malachi chapter one verse four. Uh -huh. Whereas Edom said, uh -huh. "We are impoverished, but we will return and build desolate places." Uh -huh. They said a lot of us. God said what? They shall build. They shall build, but what? But I will show them, uh -huh. and they shall call them the border of wickedness, uh -huh. and the people, and the people, and the race against whom the Lord has indignation forever. God hates them. Indignation means. Righteous hate or righteous hate forever. So if in Malachi it says God hates Esau, how come two or three chapters after we say John 3 16, God love everybody? What does John 3 14 say? He don't know. Because what? They indoctrinate John 3 16 you. John 3 16, God love everybody. John 3 16, they're putting that in school. John 3 16, God love everybody. Right? But when we were in slavery, nobody didn't preach John 2 16 for us. When they had us in slavery, when they were raping our women and killing our children, God didn't love everybody then, did it? Huh? But John 2 16, now God love everybody. What does John 2 14 say? You don't know. Go and look it up. You say you, you, say you eat the book. What does 14 say? You eat the book. Regurgitate something. I'm pretty sure you want another scripture, ain't it? Yes. You want another scripture. What scripture do you want? Acts 10, 45. You want Acts 10? Yes. 45. So let me start with verse 1. Let me get Acts 10, 1. Let's get the proper context. Because when Paul wrote, Paul wrote Acts 10, 45 and saying it out. Ain't it? Or you wrote a letter. Ah, right. The book of Acts chapter 10, verse 1. Uh -huh. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius. Uh -huh. It's a centurion of the band called the Italian band. What is a centurion? What is a centurion? You say you read the Bible. What is a centurion? Yeah? You don't want to answer. You just say you read the Bible. Eh? What is a centurion? What is a centurion? What is a centurion? 
Acts 10. What is a centurion? What we get in the context? What is a centurion? Read. The book of Acts chapter 10 and verse 36. Uh -huh. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel. You want 35? You want 45? Let's, let's get 36 and we'll read them to 45. Right. The book of Acts chapter 10 verse 36. So, so now we get in the context of what 45 means. Read. The book of Acts chapter 10 verse 40, 36. And that's, that's typical Christianity. Scripture isolation. He's saying that we're going all about. But we read in the proper context. We read it from what he's speaking about. You don't want that. Speak, stick to that verse. Stick to that verse. But read along. Get it. You have your phone. Read along. Read along. Call it again. The book of Acts chapter 10 verse 36. So let's read together. Get it. Get it. Read it. I want you to read too. You can't read? You can't read? I find you get like you can't read, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Read. Acts 10, 36. Uh -huh. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel. The word which God sent to who? The children of Israel. Uh -huh. Preaching peace uh -huh. by Jesus Christ. So God sent the word to the children of Israel. That's so let's right. see the word that God sent to the children of Israel. Jump down to the verse you want. And they of the circumcision uh -huh. which believed were astonished. Uh -huh. As many as, as came to Peter uh -huh. because on the Gentiles also was poured all the gifts of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Yeah. So now Ask him the, we're asking the question again. So jump back to, 35, to, 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 to 36. And who was he speaking to again? Acts chapter 10 verse 36. That's the proper context of Acts 10. Who was he speaking to? Acts 10 36. Uh -huh. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel. So it means that those that you read in 40, in 40, what you want? 45. 45, it means the children of Israel. There were some who were circumcised right. and there were some who were uncircumcised. Right. Those are the ones who was called Gentiles Hello. because they was Hello. not keeping Hello. God's commandment. Hello, Hello you're wrong. Hey, you say around. Yes. You say around. Let me explain. Read it again. Read it again. The book of Acts chapter 10 verse 36. Uh -huh. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel. So this word that God sent to the children of Israel, read. Right. Preaching peace by Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. He is Lord of all. Uh -huh. that, so now let's get let's jump down to the verse that he wants. Because now we know right. he was speaking to the children of Israel. So let's see who is this people. Right. And they of the circumcision. So if it says if it says in Acts in Acts 10 26 that the word was sent to the children of Israel. Now we're making a differentiation. There were some of the children of Israel who was called the circumcision. Read. They of the circumcision uh -huh. which believed uh -huh. were astonished. By what? As many as came with Peter, uh -huh. because that on the Gentiles. Uh -huh. Also was put all the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Right, Hello. because in Acts 10 26, in Acts 10 26, he said this word Hello. came to the children Hello. of Israel. Hello. You finished? What? Hello, hello, you missing a call? He speak to the children of Israel. That's the address, proper context. You're not even addressing what they were speaking about it. What were they speaking about? Good tidings and peace. That's what he read. Among the Gentiles. And he baptized them and he was criticizing for baptizing them. And this, and when the report came back, them of the circumcision was astonished because the tattoos was only on the Jews, the Holy Spirit was poured out. He was speaking to Israel as a whole. He was speaking to Israel as a whole. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. I ain't holding on for you. Let me ask you a question. What race was Paul? Hello. What race was Paul? What race was Paul? What race was Paul? You're not finishing the scripture here. What race was Paul? 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 Paul was an Israelite. Peter was an Israelite. But how come in the New Testament? Which part in the New Testament? Which part in the New Testament do we read about Issachar? Where in the New Testament do we read about Issachar? Nephtali, Asher, Zebulun, God. Ruben, why we don't read about these people? Why we don't read about Issachar? Listen to me. Why we don't read about Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulon, God, Ruben? 
Are, they, are those people Jews? Why you don't like this scripture? Are those people Jews? Why you don't like this scripture? Are those people Jews? Why you hate this scripture? You're a waste of time. Give me that, give me, give me, give me that in Titus again, Titus 3. Give me Titus 3 again. The book of Titus chapter 3 and verse uh -huh. anyway, I that's for That's for him. A man that is an heretic. So a man that is a heretic, green. After the first and second admonition, we give him three times already. Reject. We done. Well, what you? I don't we you done. Me. I, let me let, let, let's make one thing what, clear. What let's make me. one thing clear. In the time of kings, first kings, the kingdom of the kingdom of Israel was split into two. There was northern kingdom right. which persists of Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, That's Zebulun, right. Gad. And what did they do? They went into idolatry. So now when it comes to the New Testament, you don't read about them. They are now called Gentiles. That's why you don't hear about them. That's why, that's why, that's why the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so if the kingdom of heaven, if the kingdom of heaven is for the Gentiles, is there a gate for the, for the, for the Gentiles? Last book. Last book. Revelation. Let me read Revelation. Revelation 7. The book of Revelation. Ten, I mean 21. 21. Verse 10. Uh -huh. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain uh -huh. and showed me the great city. The great city, which is the kingdom of heaven. What? The, the holy Jerusalem uh -huh. descending out of heaven from God. Uh -huh. Verse 12. And had a wall great and high. So if the kingdom of heaven is open to everybody, why would it need a wall? Why would it need a wall to block people from coming in? It's open to everybody. Read it. And had a wall great and high, uh -huh. and had twelve gates. Gates is to restrict access. So, if the kingdom of heaven is for everybody, why does the kingdom of heaven have twelve gates? Read. And at the gates, twelve angels. And at the gates, there are twelve angels at the gates. Read. And names written by God, uh -huh. which are the names of the twelve tribes no the gentiles the 12 tribes the gentiles read it properly which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of israel so if the kingdom if the word is for everybody why does the kingdom of heaven have 12 gates read revelation 11 2. <laughs> we're there in the last book we're in the last book last the last chapter. chapter in the Bible the last chapter there is no more New Testament than this uh, no more New Testament uh, we say it's in Revelation in Revelation in Revelation what? 21 Revelation 21 it says the kingdom of heaven now 12 gates why would the kingdom of heaven now 12 gates why would the kingdom of heaven why would the kingdom of heaven have 12 gates? I'll, 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 I'll give Revelation 7 point. Revelation 11 2. Now, let, let's give Revelation 7 point. So, we, so, so we're going back. We're going back in the chapter in the same book. We're going forward in the same book to give him the answer. And he still wouldn't take it. You Read. The book of Revelation chapter 7 verse 3. Uh -huh. But not the earth, uh -huh. neither the sea, Read. not the trees, uh -huh. till we have seen the servants of our God in the forest. So now, so is everybody the servants of God? So he says, so he said here, don't hold the earth until we seal the servants of God. So let's see who the servants of God are. Read. And I heard the number of them that were sealed. So the number of the servants of God was sealed. Let me hear. And there were sealed 140 and 4,000 uh -huh. of all the tribes of the children of Israel. No, of the Gentiles. Of the, all the tribes of the children of Israel. So the servants of God are the tribes of the children of Israel. Uh -huh. Read. Right. Read for him. And of the tribe of Judah uh -huh. was seen twelve thousand. Servants of God. Of the tribe of Reuben was seen twelve thousand. Servants of God. Of the tribe of Gad was seen twelve thousand. Uh -huh. Of the tribe of Asher was seen twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Natalia was seen twelve thousand. Really? Of the tribe of Manassas was seen twelve thousand. That's it, that's enough for him. Because the kingdom of heaven of the said in Revelation has twelve gates. So, hey, he wants us to read Revelation 11. Yes. So, so hold on, hold on. So we have the king. No, we, let, me, let me get the picture. So, we have a kingdom with 12 gates by 12 tribes. But outside of the kingdom, we have a porch. Who the porch from? The Gentiles. That means what? They're not getting into the kingdom. That's right. Read, read, go. He wants us to read it still. He wants us to read it still. Read it, read it. 
Which one? 11. 11. 11. 11. Oh, yeah. yeah. Read. The book of Re Revelation 11, verse 2. Uh -huh. But the court, which is with all the temple. So the court with out. all the temple that is outside of the temple. Leave out. Leave it out. Leave it out. Why? And measure it not. And don't measure it because they don't belong. For it, is, for it is given unto the Gentiles. So that is for the Gentiles. The outside is for the Gentiles. You bring your own script of the court itself. That is not the kingdom. 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 Just tell me that three tribes were the circumcision and the rest was the Gentiles. There was a northern kingdom, I just tell you. They were called northern kingdom or the uncircumcision. You are not listening. You are not listening. That you, you just proved to me that you're not listening. Read it again. Read it again. Revelation chapter 11 verse 2. Ah, but the courts which is without the temple. So the courts are without the temple. Read out and measure it not. Ah, uh -huh. it is given unto the Gentiles. It was given unto the Gentiles. So here we read in Revelation. Hush him out and move. Now we read in Revelation here now that this this court here is for the Gentiles. The whole come when we jump over to 22, when we jump over to 22, now we tell you that this year now is for the chain of prison. Read it again. Read Revelation 22 for him again. Read for him. The book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 12. Uh -huh. And I had a wall great and high. Uh -huh. And I had 12 gates. I had 12 gates. And I had the gates 12 angels. Uh -huh. And names within their own. Read. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So the kingdom of heaven had 12 gates and 12 to 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. You'll get that just now. You'll get that just now. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So let me see, so let me see, let, let us see, let us see what they're doing in the altar court. Give me, give me Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Let's see, well, let's see what they're doing in the altar court. Let's see. He said that's not in New Jersey. Let's see. Let's see what, let me see what Revelation 14 said. Let's see if that happened already. The book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter, 14. chapter 14, verse 1. Read. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Uh -huh. And we yet, and we what? Yet, yet means future prophecy. He said God will have mercy on Jacob. And will yet choose who? Choose Israel. So God will still choose Israel. Read. And set them in their own life. So has that happened yet? Did God set the children of Israel in their own land? I ask you a question. Did God set the children of Israel in their own land? Or who put the people, those bastards, in the land in 1948? It was America that did that. God didn't put them there. Read. And set them in their own land. Uh -huh. And the strangers uh -huh. shall be joined with them. The strangers is going to be on the altar court. The strangers. Let's hear. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And they go cleave to the house of Jacob. And what will happen? And the people shall take them uh -huh, and bring them to their place. So the children of Israel shall take them and bring them to their own place. And what will happen? And the house of Israel shall what? Shall possess them. Shall what? Possess them. Possess them. For what? In the land of the Lord. For what? For servants. For what? For servants. For servants. And what? And handmaids. And handmaids. So he said that he was Jerusalem. them. So that didn't happen yet. So that happened yet. So that happened already? So that happened already? So that happened already? So that happened already? Oh, when? When? When, when did that happen? I ask you a question. When did that happen? No, because chapter 13 saying that we're going to destroy it again. So when did that happen? That never happened. That never happened. Read it again. The book of Isaiah chapter 14 verse 1. Uh -huh. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. So God will have mercy on Jacob and what? And will yet choose Israel. And he will still choose the nation of Israel and what? And send them in their own land. Uh -huh. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And the strangers are the other nations. Those who are on the outer court shall be joined with them and what? And they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. Uh -huh. And the people shall take them. And the children of Israel shall take the heathen or take the other nations and do what? And bring them to their place. Uh -huh. And the house of Israel shall what? Shall possess them. Shall possess them for what? In the land of the Lord. He said, he said that's the old temple and old and old thing. At the time of Isaiah, what captivity was Isaiah in? Isaiah was in Assyrian captivity. So how could that be the old Jerusalem? That is long after Solomon. So how could that be in the old temple? That didn't happen yet. You need to go and study. Go study the book. Read. 
And the horse of Israel shall so possess when, them. And the horse of Israel shall possess them for what? In the land of the Lord. Where, where are you getting your for servants? Your for servants and what? And handmaids. Uh -huh. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall take, and the children of Israel shall take them captives whose what? Captives they were. They were captives. Isaiah was captive. Jeremiah was captive. Christ was captive because the Romans was ruling. Paul was captive because the Romans was ruling. We are captive because the same people are ruling today. Read. And they shall rule over the oppressors. And they shall rule over the oppressors. We haven't seen on TV, at the movies, at the theater. We haven't seen this kind of image. But this is what needs to happen all over the world. One man. One spirit. Yeah, I ain't never back no retreat. Nah, always surviving the heat. Yeah, you shoot me down in the street. Hold up, I came with many, we did. Yeah, 144 did. Yeah, man, I done came with a flick. Flick, got all my brothers with me. Yeah, I know you smelling the fit. Uh. I know you smelling the fit. Uh. You gonna be kissing my fit. Yeah, all of my brothers gonna eat. Yeah. All of my brothers the lick. Yeah. Yeah, I be facing the ace. ace. Wisdom and knowledge increase. Yeah. You got a minute and seconds. seconds. God is releasing the beast. Yeah. Your time is up on the lease. lease. I just pull up for the rent. Give me that. Don't be expecting no grace. Nah. You get no chance to repent. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.